fans of the channel that have been engaged with my Miraculous Ladybug episode reviews and analysis, and let's be honest, my meme rants, I think you'll know that sometimes I get a little bit fixated on things I find annoying or strange. Like the weird turnabout of the mayor's whole character arc and the way the audience is supposed to perceive him. He goes from a terrible enabler who let his daughter turn into a spoiled brat to a battered husband and father whose wife and daughter are literally the Antichrist and working together to ruin his life completely, to a hero who kicks them both to the curb and takes in his wife's affair baby, I guess. Bit weird, but okay. And we're supposed to think he's a hero now. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Sure. And then there's the idea that Miss Bustier is somehow a good teacher, which she ain't. But none of these fixations, none of these annoying things that plant themselves in my brain and won't leave, can possibly compare to this. Nothing can compare to my utter disdain for the character of Andre the Ice Cream Man. I really don't know where it started, but over the years watching him appear, every time I see him, I get a little bit more annoyed. A little bit more frustrated that this dude is appearing on my screen yet again. Until now we've arrived at the point that I just straight up hate him. He sucks. Like, big call. He could be my most hated character in the entire show. As in, a get him off my screen type of dislike. It's not like Lila or whatever, where even though she does suck, you acknowledge that she's supposed to be the villain, and a pretty compelling villain at that. She serves a defined role in the storyline. She works well as a major antagonist to Marinette that she has to overcome. Same with the likes of Gabriel Legress, etc, etc. They're villains. You're supposed to dislike them. You're supposed to want them to lose and to suffer. But I'm pretty sure you are not supposed to want the ice cream man to suffer, but I want him to suffer. I think the intention is to find him endearing, and I do not. I do not like him. He sucks, and today we're going to explore why. Okay, just a bit of backstory to start. Andre was an office worker who a long time before the start of the show grew tired with his job and lifestyle and longed for a change. As he was already crafting ice cream concoctions and new flavour combinations at home, he figured, why not make that his full-time job? He's very happy with that. And so he did. And over time, he developed a status as a legendary ice cream maker. Every day, he goes out to a different location in Paris. He leaves clues on how to find him before custom crafting ice cream based on what he thinks you would like. And already, this pisses me off. The arrogance of it. Imagine spending all that time figuring out where this guy is selling his ice cream only to turn up and be told by this dude, oh no, 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 you're not allowed to choose what you're having. I'm choosing. I'm gonna make one custom to you and you just have to accept it. Come on. He supposedly is able to instantly judge the personality? Doubt. But regardless, a person's taste buds and desired flavor profile is not determined by personality anyway. And even if it was, Sometimes you're just not in the mood for a specific taste or flavor, even if it's your favorite. If I'm not in the mood for chocolate ice cream, even though it's my favorite, and want something fruity instead because it's just that sort of day, and this dude's giving me choc chip anyway, oh no, I'd be pissed. And on top of that, even if flavor choice was linked to a person's personality in that way, he speaks to them for maybe a couple of seconds before that. How could he possibly know what suits them best? The dude is up his own ass about his profession. Too pretentious for me. Just let the people have what they want, dude. And also, can his magic flavor picker also tell when somebody has an allergy? Dude, you're a liability. And on top of that, we see in the episode where Chloe becomes the mayor that he doesn't even have a permit for his food cart. That's right, no permit. And so now we uncover why he moves around to a new location every day. He's dodging the cops because no permit means he's breaking the law, means he probably isn't being overseen by any sort of health and safety standards. And you can extrapolate from that that if he isn't bothering with a permit, he's probably not going to bother paying taxes at all while we're at it. And maybe I'm being a bit harsh with that one and reading too much into things, but let's be honest, many food trucks in the real world do the same thing. At least in my experience. And shit, I know for a fact there are many restaurants that do this sort of thing. On the regular. Andre, you're a grub, son. Contribute to society, you slug, and pay your permit fees and pay your taxes. But hey, that's not even the worst of what annoys me about this man. That's just the icing on the cake. It's more that he's a massive man-child, like a massive dweeb. When we meet him in Glaciator, he's built up as the ultimate destination for couples to get ice cream. When Adrian doesn't turn up to their meetup, Marinette gets pretty bummed out. And in turn, Andre tries to cheer her up with a custom ice cream. Good so far but it gets knocked out of her hand. Mm, sad face. 
It falls on the floor, she gets upset, and she says that it doesn't matter anyway and she doesn't want a new one, because his ice cream isn't even magic, and then she leaves. And yeah, maybe a bit of a hit to the confidence, Andre, but you've been in business for a very long time, because apparently he served up the ice cream that Tom hid his ring for Sabine in way back when. So we're talking a true veteran of the ice cream trade. Surely he's had unruly customers before. Surely he's had people that have gotten upset or have seen things not go the way he expected. Surely that's happened before. And even if it hasn't, he is a grown ass man. Imagine getting so upset about this innocuous refusal by a teenager that you dramatically drop to your knees to cry about it. Getting so sad about a moody teenager talking a little bit of trash about your ice cream cone. That gets you possessed by an evil villain. With this one act alone in his debut episode, so he's not setting a very good first impression, he solidifies himself as the height of cringe. Also, he was just talking some mad lies to Marinette to try to get her to eat the ice cream cone to begin with, saying that her lover, ew, she's a young teenager son, don't say that, would come to her if she eats it. And we know for a fact watching the episode that's complete bull. As we've seen at this time, Adrian's transformed into Cat Noir. He's setting up a romantic day for Ladybug, which she wouldn't turn up for. And in fact, you could argue that if she stayed and ate the ice cream and didn't get down and stayed with her friends to hang out that evening, she might have even missed seeing Cat Noir on her balcony to have that really awesome conversation. So Andre, you're a clown. And you'd think that he'd learn from this experience, right? Learn that taking yourself and your ice cream so seriously that it brings you to tears and opens your mind to being possessed is not a good look. But no, he doesn't learn. In fact, he doubles down on this weird behavior. In Glaciator 2, the dude ends up getting akumatized because Ladybug had shot down his belief that she and Cat Noir are meant to be together as a romantic couple. And there are many things that I find wrong with this. For one, imagine being so weird as to be a very adult man, very adult, and to actively ship teenagers. Teenagers, and I'm not talking like 18 year olds, I'm talking, what, how old are they? 14? 15? Ugh. And this isn't shipping characters in a TV show or a movie. In the context here, they're in the show. They are the characters. Their life is real to them. So this is a grown man shipping teenagers and getting angry enough to be possessed when they don't go along with his weirdness. Come on now. The dude is weird and gross. Nah, -uh. No thank you. And so of course, the heroes have to save his ass again after he's gone on a rampage across Paris. Despite this all being his fault. But hey, maybe third time's the charm. Maybe he has the decency, the moral decency and fortitude to grow a brain and to not ship teenagers. And if he does ship them, to not take it so seriously. Like he doesn't even know them as people merely as heroes. And he decides that that gives him the right to try to force them all together because his ice cream says so. Dude needs help. Serious, serious help. Stop it. Get some help. But what do you know? Does he think about those actions of his? Does he think about how his weird obsession with pairing people up with ice cream and getting upset when it doesn't work is putting everybody in Paris in danger when it inevitably goes wrong and he takes it too personally? No, of course not. That would take self-reflection. That would take integrity. And so what does he do? Why? Cat Noir takes Marinette out on a date to get some ice cream to get to know each other. And Andre acts like a goddamn man-child again. Talking about how they're not meant to be. He still ships the alternate couplings of Adrian and Marinette and Ladybug and Cat Noir. He makes things really awkward. I mean, imagine being such a social disaster. Such a sad, embarrassing, neckbeardy, loserish, fedora-tipping dweeb that you're going to shit on two teenagers that are out on a date and get yourself akumatized because you get that salty for the third time in under a year. All because you can't handle that people don't use your specific ice cream as the be-all and end-all romantic barometer that you think it should be. I hate this man. I hate him. I hate him. He's the worst character in the show. Get out of here, son. Oh, and so we've reached the finale at last. The end of the video. Andre sucks. And now, I hope you all understand why. And so with all that being said, these have just been my opinions and now I'd like to hear yours. Do you agree with me? Does Andre suck? Does he need to get a life? Or do you for some reason disagree? And if you do, please explain. I am really curious for your thoughts on this one. So please like, comment and subscribe and let me know.